guys, Lucas Wald here coming to you from the studio. Um, we're all familiar with the concept of the Sam Snead squad, so I thought I'd make a video today and hopefully clear up um, what's going on in the golf swing, in the legs, and the hips. I, I see a current fad going on with the overly exaggerated version of the Snead squad. So um, what I see being taught, what I see some of my students even doing that come to me is this overly externally rotated position of the lead leg. So we typically think of Sam Snead as having the legs apart, but what is not going on in the best players of all time is an overly exaggerated external rotation of the femur. So what I see is this action being taught, okay, where the kneecap is actually opening, the foot everting, and pointing this way. So if you look at my belt buckle, when I rotate the leg like this, what's it doing? It's not doing anything. It's still facing the camera. So when you look at the best of all time, they obviously have some leg separation, but the pelvis is actually rotating faster than this femur. So when you go up to the top and you land in transition, this foot tends to be square and sometimes even pigeon-toed, and the pelvis is open, has moved faster than this femur. So the, the sequence that we want is a state of movement of the left knee behind the ball, internal rotation, and then a movement to what? Less internal rotation with the legs apart, which sets up shearing that leads to what? Max rotation at impact. So when you look back at the best players of all time, like, you know, Bobby Jones, Henry Cotton, Ben Hogan, Jack Nicholas, Gary Player, and then, you know, even some of today's guys like Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy, Sergio, they often land, what, with the foot um, slightly pigeon-toed? And guys, look, if I'm standing pigeon-toed, what are my legs in? They're in internal rotation. If I'm standing like a duck, it's gonna be more than likely that my legs are open in external rotation. So look at the best players of all time landing with the lead side, the lead foot, slightly inverted, slightly pigeon-toed, the pelvis, what? The hips open to this femur, which sets up what? A shearing for max rotation at impact. So guys, listen, when you're doing these reps, make sure that you're not overly exaggerating these movements try to be precise I mean we pride ourselves in being precise about the movements and making sure that those movements align with the best of all time so hopefully this clears the air on what the legs are doing and the hips are doing in the golf swing and maybe you all if you all enjoyed this content please subscribe to the channel leave comments in the section below follow me on social media and let's all get out there and start moving like the best of all time believe you me it's a lot more fun cheers have a great day.